Even as KNCHR Chair Florence Simberi Jarko stays put in a Lenana Road office, the drive by some commissioners to kick her out of office continues to attract public attention. Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo, under whose docket KNCHR falls, met the commissioners as the government seeks to end the stalemate at the rights body. The Kenya chapter of the International Commission of Jurists and the Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, together with the LSK, have cautioned against the move to expel Jaoko from the chair. They want some clarification on how and why the commissioners want Jaoko out. The reasons for the purported removal remain unclear to us. If the commission is to remain accountable, this major development must be backed by solid reasons, and those reasons must not only be agreed on internally, among the commissioners, but must be explained to the public, which has expectations on the commission. The lawyer group say the fact that the KNCHR will, under the new constitution, merge with the Gender Commission and become the Kenya National Human Rights and Equality Commission means that commissioners will have to consult widely before any decision is executed. Any decision made regarding the chair would, as a matter of law, also need to have involved the Gender Commission. The organizations are offering to help the human rights body settle differences among its commissioners. We are offering our, our, our good offices to mediate in the crisis at the commission. So we cannot do that then at the same time say we have uh, confidence or we don't, do not have confidence in the leadership of the commission. The KNCHR commissioners were supposed to hold a media briefing this morning but cancelled it instead to allow for a meeting between them and Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo. The Justice Minister and the Commissioners did not address the media after the meeting due to what one so stammed the sensitivity of the matter at stake. And uh, so now we are just going back to our offices. Abde Osman, Citizen Live at 9.